The Islanders trade Anthony Bavillier, uh, Antti Ranti, and a first-round pick for Can- for the Canucks center, a.k.a. captain, Bo Horvat. I did not want to trade Antti Ranta. The kid, he's 20 years old. Uh, this guy, at one point, could have been the number one pick in the draft two years ago. He could have been. And he had a bad season, and he fell to the second round, and it was a great steal for Lou Lamorello, which, by the way, has not drafted a first-round draft pick in almost three years. And won't anymore either. <laughs> as, as we know. Well, that's not true, because if the Islanders fall apart, they still protect, they still protect this first-round draft pick this year. If they're oh, in the okay. top 12, if they're in the top 12, uh, it does not go to Vancouver. It will go to them next year, no matter what. Okay. But Horvat is one of the best face-off guys in the NHL. He really is. Top three. Um, he's won 625 face-offs in 49 games this season. An average of 12.75 face-off wins per game. Horvat had 625 face-off wins in is second in the NHL. Once once to, I'm sorry, only to Patrice Bergeron, who has 689. Horvat is sixth last season with 841 face-off wins. Horvat has 31 goals in 49 games this season, already tying his career high, which was last season at 31. Horvat has 31 goals on 143 shots on goal, which gives him 20 uh, him a, a 21.7 percent shooting percentage among NHL players with over 100 shots on goal. Only the Jets, um, uh, Shifley, uh, has a higher percentage at 22.8 percent. Total ice time for Horvat is 20 minutes and 48 seconds per game, seventh highest among the NHL forwards. Total ice time, I'm sorry, Horvat has four different head coaches in nine years. Nine years. Could you imagine that? Nine years in the NHL, and he has four coaches already. Horvat, during the Hub City playoffs, had 10 goals in 12, in 17 playoff games for the Canucks, leading them to a conference semifinals, the deepest they have gone into the playoffs since the Stanley Cup loss to the Bruins in 2011. Horvat has an average of 1.1 points per game, which is tied for 26 in the NHL. There are only four players that have over a 1,000 face-off attempts, and two are now Islanders, Pajot and Horvat. So the Islanders have two of the best face-off guys in the NHL. That's a benefit. And if somehow the Islanders squeak into the playoffs, and they could. They're only two points behind the Penguins. If they could squeak into the playoffs, having a face, two face-off guys that can do that is a benefit. The Rangers have had problems yeah. for years on face-offs. And it, it cost them against Tampa. It cost them against Tampa. That's why Tampa went to the Stanley Cup Finals last year. And Tampa wasn't even that good at faceoffs either. They're just better than the Rangers. They killed the Rangers in that series, especially in the last two games of that series. Mm-hmm. Killed them. Hence why I wanted them to try to trade for Horvat or trade for another center and keep Cop. Nope, no problem. Nothing. Nothing there. Horvat is tied for 16th in offensive point shares with 5.2. Offensive point shares are estimated of the number of points contributed by the player due to his offense. For comparison, Connor McDavid leads the league with 9.6. Could you imagine? Now, he is not compared to Connor McDavid. Okay, Connor McDavid is the best player by far in the NHL. But to see what Horvat has done on a Vancouver team that's not even that good. Right. Okay? Not even that good. Now, the Islanders are not that good either. Okay? Automatically, Horvat is the best player on the Islands. It's not even an argument. He is that much better than anybody on the Islanders. So Brock Nelson, Horvat was going to the All Star game. Is he going to the All Star game with the Islanders now? I don't know. They said he's going to wear the Pacific Division jersey during the actual game, but during the skills competition, he's going to wear an Islanders jersey, <laughs> which doesn't make any sense. But whatever. It's the All Star game. Yeah. Well. Uh, well, again, the Islanders are a laughing stock. But Horvat is tied for tenth in adjusted. Goals created, which is 37. Adjusted goals averages all players out of 82 game schedules and league average performances uh, of six total goals per game and 1.67 assists per game. The Islanders need to resign him. And we're hearing there he's looking for a seven year, uh, eight and a half million dollars. Now, if the Islanders could get him for seven years, eight and a half million dollars and promise him that he will be consistently on Barzell's line, why would he want to go anywhere else. 